G'day guys, welcome back to another video of Winter Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. It's been a while um, since I've been in Winter Survival, so um, I took a break, just needed to do a few other bits and pieces, um, chatter-wise and things like that, but we are back today and we have gotten a new update and this is the biggest update that this game has had to date. I'm calling it the Mega Update. Why? Because there's been 74 additions being added to this game. You heard me correctly, 74 additions to the game. That is absolutely unreal, unheard of for as a game um, that I've been playing personally. Any survival game that I've been playing, I haven't heard of an update adding 74 things into one massive update. So absolutely unreal by the developers and they have done quite the job in getting that done but let's quickly go into some of the updated content because i really want to try and get um through this as quickly as possible and so we can head out and uh, do a few things so um number one unlock new talent skill system the power of the dragon number two new playing mode the undead invasion which we'll get into Three, add a new quest in survival manual. At the dining table, the first use of the buff does not cost the hodge podge. Five, add new prop. Uh, the landmine drawing can be found in the frozen harbor. New blueprint, oh, sorry, add new blueprint. The drawing of the pretend coat, which is available for sale in the market. A uh, new magic merchant is coming to the market. Players can also ask him to buy something with the undead metal. Uh, optimize equipment description text. Uh, more features about the equipment would be displayed. Click hit crit. Oh, sorry, like hit crit and durability accept. Okay. Add a timer to tell you how many time uh, is going uh, to need to craft buildings. Okay. Add thermometers for each map um, at the entrance. That, I think that is a good implementation. And I think a lot of people, including myself, had wanted something like that to know what they're about to get themselves into without having to waste energy in getting to the, um, the said map, um, which is awesome. Uh, add tips to demonstrate the camp defense. Add a blood bar to demonstrate the HP of zombies when fighting. Add something to show how much EXP it's going to need uh, for character leveling up and upgrading, as you can see at the bottom of the bar on um, in the main screen that you're looking at. Um, new tip is added after the dragon has hatched. Tips indicate uh, to enter the camp. Okay. Um, new feature: mercenaries in the camp may uh, sorry can have a chat with each other when they got approaching okay new adjustments once again uh, adjust the price for cra crafting weapons and armor so we'll take a look at that and see if there's anything that's changed adjust the sum weapon attack durability range speed etc expand the attack range of the bow and arrow enhance the attack and durability of metal weapons reduce the re um actually that's good number 17 um yes yeah, so i'm interested about that uh reduced uh, reaction time between the last attack and the upcoming one. Um, reduce the number of chests in the village of Burke, but increase their item drops. So I think that's very important. My opinion was the village of Burke had a lot of loot drops um, and they were sort of blended in with each other. So you didn't know exactly what you're getting uh, when you actually were hovering around the lootable chest. Anyway, I digress. Uh, reduce weapon drop uh, profitability. Oh, sorry, probability, sorry. Uh, from the big boss in the village of Burke. Um, that's annoying, but it is what it is. Increase the undead powder drop uh, probability uh, from ghost monsters in Land of Dragon Bone Suburb. Uh, add four transfer rays in map Land of Dragon Bone Suburb to facilitate players unlock after the killing of uh, the first ghost dragon. Made bosses 100% appear in intermediate resource map and advanced resource um, map and also reduce the um, probability of its weapon drop so the intermediate um, boss spawns um, would mainly be the patrol um, um, I think it's either the yeah I think it's like a 
not the executioner what I've got up here, but it's like a patrol um, 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 uh, boss, I, I would imagine. I can't even remember the name for the life of me anyway, but it looks like that we're going to have more, well, every time they enter the zone, they will appear. That's really good because, especially when you're doing the survival manual, it took so long for me to actually find one of them. And yeah, amount of times, amount of resources and effort put into that was ridiculous. So, so that's good for you guys that are needing to find um, those bosses in those intermediate zones. Increase the number of zombies in Undead Army on the advanced resource map. Adjusted the difficulty of monsters in the Frozen Harbor, Volcano, Eternal Fortress, Ruins, and the Land of the Dragon Bones suburb. So, number 25. Adjusted the difficulty of monsters in the Frozen Harbor, Volcano, Eternal Fortress, Ruins, and the Land of the Dragon Bones. Please hit me up in the comments. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it in between? Let me know because I'm really interested in um, hearing that. Now, on to number 26. Expanded the random range of gold coins in the Fortune Monster. Oh, sorry, that the Fortune Monster gives. Adjusted the basic building consumables as follows. Slightly increased the difficulty of level 1, level 2, level 3. Reduced the price of buildings of level 4. Adjusted the corresponding prestige value at the same time. More time is needed for crafting building related materials, but the burning time of charcoal, coal, and gold tree can last longer now. That's good. Increase the randomness of output of pine and hermlock in intermediate and advanced wood maps. Shorten the existence time of some event maps who have too many resources inside. Um, modify the rewards in... Um, Modify the rewards a harbor fisherman can give. Okay, chance to gather other extra uh, rewards except the fishing hook. Well, that sucks, but it is what it is. Adjust some equipment rewards in the survival manual. Special tips will be given to you. You'll be notified if the mercenaries didn't bring anything back from the tasks assigned to them. Modified the claiming rules of seven day sign in play. Um, in plan maximum guarantees that players will receive the full seven day rewards as much as possible that's good optimize the recipe interface you'll put new materials into the slots that may interrupt the crafting process refer to the item that has been crafted for more than two minutes the system will give warnings that's good modify the position of the star upgrading button as it it's notice when the dragon goes out okay fix bug that bow and arrow weapons will automatically move to the optional weapon slot when it can be only provided in the last attack. Solve the illegal characters issues in clan naming. Adjust the profile layout a little bit. Modify the appearance of the antler helmet. Adjusted dodge algorithm. If the defense value was greater than the attack, uh, sorry, than the attack value, it would not dodge, but now it would. Enlarged the rabbit model in the map, the land of Dragon Burn suburb by 1.6 times, change the color um, of the coney hair, whatever that means, add a new rewards to the volcano map, crystal of fire, coal, copper plate, etc. Reduce the available steel ingot for sale to three um, per, oh, sorry, sale per week to three, added different effects displays to miss, this is for new talent system, if you dodge yourself, but do not consume durability. The system will generate a green miss if you are fighting monsters. The monsters dodge, use weapons, but, do, uh, do, but uh, sorry. The monsters dodge, use weapons, but does not count durability. System will give you a yellow miss. Okay, that is really good because a lot of people were complaining in regards to that. If you missed or whatever, you still consume um, durability loss on your weapons and things like that. So that's good. Uh, restored the dodge value of the antler helmet back to 200 increase the price of the antler helmet in stores to 399 in general store and 359 in npc store uh, modified the appearance of the leather backpack and military backpack uh, materials can be more easily distinguished in the small map in the upper right hand corner of the oh sorry of each location especially in pine and hemlock um, optimize businessman's direction on the map market map added a mark on the map okay that was 49 we're up to number 50 of 74 backpack item details interface 
um, in uh, sorry added the an operation memory where you open your backpack again you'll go back to the last item you stayed on level three floor is required now for crafting the big iron box modified uh, attack distance of the knight sword and sickle including the broken ones from 80 to 140 reduce the attack range of some wolves and foxes from 200 to 120 increase the drop probability of the map for of the foot of the uh, volcano which is great increase the drop probability of the dragon scale um, sword drawing increase the probability of event maps deleted physical death effects of some zombies make the interactive circles broken of the broken bridge in map of uh, dragon bones suburb broken ship in map frozen harbor more eye-catching okay bug fixes from 59 onwards uh, optimize some location translations fix some of the floating iron mine errors uh, fix the abnormal precision parts drop bug uh, fix the bug of no bleeding effect of double edge sickle and sharp edge machete fixed the bug of no skill icon when the dragon goes out your you refresh skills immediately in this interface icon changes only when you reopen it fixed the bug that uh, dragon feeding button is gray when the dragon goes out and nothing happens when tapping uh, fix the bug when the player's life becomes zero and you die immediately after going back to the camp when return, returning from one location to the globe map at the last moment of death. Fix the bug that no prestige added when upgrading city wall and city gate. Fix the display error when, while offline in traditional version. Fix the bug that there is no display of the butcher rectangular skill. Fix bug... Uh, the consumption bug of the hodge hodge around the dinner table sometimes th don't count uh, fix the problem that users cannot build the goose down bed added new prop the goose down fixed the problem that the full rest level two does not cover the ability of full rest level one has uh, fix the problem that the money bag cannot provide the correct amount of golden dragon coins fix the wrong attack posture of for wolves and fox Fix incorrect weapon attack speed. Fix problem that cause quickly switching we uh, weapons. Any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us via Facebook Messenger, in-app service system, Facebook comment. More details about the info, welcome to follow us on Facebook at West, uh, wintersurvival.en. My God, guys, that was a ridiculous amount of updates that are coming to this massive updates and to be honest i purposely not, didn't want to play it until i started recording just to get my initial rack, uh, reaction to you guys so you guys can um see exactly as i'm seeing it for the first time and hopefully you guys um do appreciate that so yeah there has been a ton of of updates and ridiculous updates and particularly the biggest update which we're going to sort of go through in a moment um, is the wandering horde that will be coming to my base soon and I do need to um, think about um, upgrading my defenses and making sure I've got enough offense to defend myself so let's have a quick look and see what has changed notably in the uh, menu system the leather backpack has straight up um, I don't think that has changed, so we'll leave that alone. I don't know if I've got access to the military backpack on my crafting menu here, so if I miss it, I, I apologize, but <clears throat> I do not see it here. So as we sort of um, are going through this, I don't see um, anything. The dragon scale sword looks like that it's changed, I think. Um, but they have reduced some of the, um, the requirements for that and same with that. What I'm particularly interested in is they've actually changed that. That is actually a decent change compared to what they did beforehand. So it still costs a bit of iron, which I understand. Metallic parts, a bit iffy with that. Hermlock, I'm not worried about. But 20 bronze nails, that's a bit steep. It is what it is. Um, I think a lot of us now would probably turn our attention to the nail hammer as an alternate weapon. The attack has been adjusted from what I can see here. You've got the hit, you've got the critical, and you've got the durability with that one there. 
And then you've got the hit, which has actually been nerfed a little bit because that was originally 55 and that was originally 45 from memory. Um, hit is 27 and critical is 30. So I think the hit basically means your miss rate, I guess. And that is um, 10, if that's the case, which tw if that's what we're working on and if that's the correct um, notion that I led to believe here, and again, guys, uh, quote me if I'm wrong, but if that's 10 hit miss percentage, that could be a percentage versus that which is 27 for an extra 10 and the same durability. I think you're probably better off going with this to be perfectly honest with you guys, just to give you my opinion. But I guess if that's the hit rate, I'm not too sure. So 10 hit rate, because that says 37. Critical 42, durability 210, 27, um, or hit 126. So I'm not too sure what to make of that, to be honest with you. So let me know in the comments, guys, because I'll be interested to know what your um, what your thoughts are about that. Have you guys gone through um, utilizing either one or both, and what success rates have you had, if any? Um, yeah, I'll be interested to know just that. Um, actually, what I want to do real quickly is, do I have anything that's um, close to being expiring? Uh, okay. So I've got a gift from the developer. I'm sure that you guys have got that as well. Um, is there anything? I may as well claim all of that. I better do that. Uh, let's claim. Let's claim. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I haven't actually been on for a little while now. And like I said, I've been doing a few other things here and there. And I just sort of wanted to, um, you know, take a mini break, if you will, and just sort of recharge, I guess, and then sort of come back in with a little bit more enthusiasm and um, continue to play. Not to say that I didn't have any enthusiasm, but um, I think, you know, sometimes it's good to sort of take a little bit of a break from time to time. Um, that's gonna be lasting for 29 days, so I'll just leave them here. Um, there's quite a number of things in here as well. So if I just go ahead and just open up some of these, at least you guys can see exactly what I've got. Um, yeah, yeah, that's as far as I'm gonna sort of put it, eh. So let's um, quickly drop a few things in here. They did say when you double tap, it should be a little bit more better, which it initially it appears that way. Um, that I'm sort of dropping things in here with, oh no, it's still there. When you guys um, pretty much um, quickly you drop things in, or if you double tap too quickly, it sort of goes back or it swaps between um, weapons, which is, which I find really weird. But anyway, again, is what it is. Um, I want to take this, so I'm going to hang on to that, and let's head out to the um, to the map. I'm not too sure if these guys have changed. I haven't really been bothered to upgrade anything, so I can actually take in anyone just yet, which I need to um, uh, sort out the mercen uh, mercenary bed, which I can actually craft. Um, shouldn't have that problem in crafting, but I'll need a bit of this before I can do that. So. Um, something that I need to do for myself. Like I said, I have left it a little bit long when I'm playing this, so yeah. So we've got the undead army. Can I intercept? I can. Um, okay. Wow, there's a bit of undead there. So the army, the enemy is too strong. It's recommended that you intercept, uh, intercept some of them. So it's going to be a fierce battle. Well, why the hell not? Let's just do it. Let's see what I'm dealing with here. And I think from what I've seen in some screenshots, I've got a minor understanding of what I need to do. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, it was really cruel, Massa, Cray, and I'll need to find another big order. Okay. One-handed sickle villager. Okay. Let's just get one of these guys to come over here. And as you can see... They've actually got the, the little, um, what do you call it, um, their um, health bar. 
which is good. Carry on IV4, okay, whatever that is or whatever that means. Honestly, I think for a lot of people, you would either just rush this place and you would sort of, oh geez, there's a few of them, and you would sort of like deal with them in a way that you would, like, like you do in the tutorial basically. Oop. Um, okay, let me quickly, oh wow, you actually get cold, which I didn't realize what was happening there. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do well here. And I don't have anything that I can use to claim to warm me up, which is actually not good. <laughs> All right, let's quickly... Okay, so there's no... Well, that's good. There's no energy loss if you have to revert back to camp. So in theory, you've actually got a lot of opportunity to um, uh, go through the zone as best as you can, which is which is good, which is kind of good, which I feel that is a fair trade-off, personally. Um, what I don't find fair is the the whole um, sixty-six. Um, enemies that you're going to have to deal with, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm just going to take some of this with me, maybe some of that with me as well. Um, I'm going to need to heal up a little bit, which honestly I don't think I have anything to uh, heal up with actually, so bandages, I don't think I, I don't have anything for the bandages or anything like that. I do. Um, I think I might be able to get away with, I think one at the very least. Um, I think I actually need more cloth if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay. So let's go into here and let's go back over here. Yeah, so I'm only going to have the one. Okay. And let's um, drop these guys away, which I've run out of um, inventory as you do. There we go. And this can go over here. Okay, so I'm guessing that there's... Oops, don't want to do that. There's obviously going to be an art form to it. I totally understand that, so art form it may be, or whatever it may be, uh, let's see how we go with the zone at hand. I kind of like the new um, screen um, splash for your um, for your loading th um, for your loading screens and things like that, so it actually looks kind of cool, kind of neat. Um, so let's go ahead and I think what we're going to do here is I'm just going to rush this. So, yeah, let's um, go ahead and do what we can. These guys are actually fast. So I don't think I'm doing this correctly, to be honest with you. Jesus, how many of these guys are here? Oh, wow. There, there is a lot, and I'm going to die. Okay. Wow. Wow. So, that didn't work. Lost a few bits and pieces, I, I get that, but um, yeah. So, we are going to have to um, do it the hard way, I guess. And I've got 72 hours to sort of redeem myself, which is fine. But yeah, what I just did there, you guys don't probably want to do uh, whatsoever. So, um, avoid it if you can. That would be the directive for here with this one. Um, but for everything else in between, yeah, um, it's obviously going to take a bit of time, a bit of effort to defend um, your base with that respect in mind. Let me know in the comments what you guys do to defend your base. Um, what type of attack approach um, do you take before um, you know entering? What type of equipment are you using? Clothing, the lot, let me know. Heels, everything else in between. Interested to know what you guys have to, to offer with that. 
So yeah, before you go in there, does it give you any other further information? So there's a bit bits and pieces here for, for us to read. Probably should have done that in the first place. So yeah, so that's gonna be useful if anything. Uh, Frozen Harbor, there you go. So temp minus 38, it's there. Um, the pine woods, 12. Uh, what have we got here at the Eternal Fortress? 45, so that's actually quite large. Training grounds are still in development, so there's no point in looking at that. I don't have the map for this yet, so I can't really access this point here. Um, the market, temp minus two. Needle forest, minus four. And then you've got your medium, which is minus uh, 15. Large abandoned mine, 32. So you can see the influx, the difference. This is going to be interesting to sort of deal with. Uh, Village of Burke, nothing. That's good. Um, but yeah. So that's going to go ahead and leave it for today as I'm sort of cycling through. Not the smartest thing, in my opinion, doing what I did. I really, it really doesn't bother me, to be honest with you guys, the way that I sort of went about that. But I've got some time. I need to work out, excuse me, what I'm going to do in how I'm going to do it. And yeah, if you guys can give you some tips, your thoughts on it, how you guys have done it, if you guys have done it successfully, um, that'd be interesting and helpful to, not for not only for myself, but for everyone else. Um, I like to entertain and give you guys my little bits and pieces here. I'm not always going to be the best player. I um, want to make that clear. There's, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that are much, much better than myself. So yeah, I will lean on your experience and your expertise in this time. But anyway, that's going to go ahead and leave it. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video as always. Um, please drop a like, comment down below, share the video, which will be most helpful for me. I want as much people that might be interested in this game that you might have that you know, please share on your personal platforms if you can that'd be really helpful for me because at least this way we'll get more people interested in the game of course and at least this way a lot more people will see my videos and hopefully they might find it helpful or interesting or both because I know you guys find it interesting as well so why not share the video around and if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos okay guys I'm out of here thanks for watching and I will see you next time